Bunker Video Shaffling Experiment. Hello everyone, I'm Chad Elledge. I'm Ben Bakken. And welcome to the OptiShot Academy. Uh, we are trying to help you to hit better shots out of the bunker when you're on the golf course. So we've been running some experiments and today we have a great experience because it's going to be amazing what you're going to find out of it. So we're talking about the degree to which you lean the shaft forward or backward. So Ben, tell us more about the Shaffling experiment. Yeah, so the experiment that you're going to run today is we're going to experiment with hitting some bunker shots, what we call as a neutral shaft, so straight up and down. And then we're going to experiment with maybe slightly forward, moderately forward, severely forward. And then we're also going to experiment with slightly backwards, moderately backwards, severely backwards to see what's going to give you the most success out of the bunker. Very good. So you would know that successful ball is the teacher. People will know what they like. Run the experiments as usual. Find out what's up. Yep, and your bunker game gets cool quick. Really quick. So, having said that, in the swing, you're just going to commit your intention to trying to do one of those particular plays, yeah? Yeah, you got it. Not uh, all of them at the same time? <laughs> no. That gets really complicated, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, and then the other thing, too, that's kind of cool about this experiment is you can try to lean the shaft those ways at impact, or you can start with them that way, too. So this is open to your own interpretation. See what works best for you. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. So a lot of people, when we suggest these, you know, we'll say, well, how am I going to do that? And it's really just start with what you think, and that is really literally the best, best place to go. So however you interpret it is up to you. Yep. Okay, so this ball, what do you want to do first? Uh, let's go with severely forward. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> let's yeah. see what happens to the ball when Ben commits to a shaft that's severely forward. Oh man. <laughs> forward! <laughs> You're gonna bye kill. Bye. He's gonna kill somebody over there. <laughs> so having said that, when you tried to hit it severely forward, what I heard was ball contact. Oh yeah, it sounded nice and crispy, didn't it? Yeah, totally. So ball contact, and then I saw a ball that went 80 yards that way. Yeah, not real close to the pin, was it? No. The next shot's gonna be hard. Yeah. So uh, as a reminder to you, we've talked about it in our videos before. The bunker shot is the only shot in golf, or the greenside bunker shot, is the only shot in golf where you don't actually want to hit the ball. We want the sand to move the ball. Sounds like that, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's gone. So having said that, for you, severely forward didn't really help. Or it could if you had an 80 yard. If I have an 80 yard uh, yeah. fairway bunker shot, that might be my solution. So it could be very useful, yeah? Yes. All right, cool. So now where are you going to go? Uh, now let's go with severely back. OK. So I'm going to set up with a shaft like this. Whoa. 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 I should start playing my bunker shots like that. So that was the best one of the day. That was the best one of the day. So what happened, I think to both of our surprise, is that fair? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that ball came out very, very high and soft with a backward leaning shaft. We didn't hear any ball contact. Nope. We kind of heard a little thud of the sand there. Uh, and that was beautiful. That was fun. All right, cool. What are you going to do next? Uh, let's do the neutral one next. So now we're going to go neutral. So I'm just going to have the shaft basically leaning straight up and down now. also worked. Yeah, still very useful. Uh, I didn't like the feeling of that one quite as much as when yeah, I had the shaft leaning severely backwards. So I noticed, you know, my sand wedge kind of dug into the sand a little bit more. And when I had it leaning severely backwards, it actually skipped through there beautifully and made a much cooler sound. So when you lean the shaft backward, what part of the wedge do you expose? Like, why do you think that was so beautiful, that high soft one that you had hit? Yeah, you can actually, uh, for those of you at home, you might not be able to see this, but when I'm looking at my wedge right now, all the sand is on the front part of the wedge. There's nothing on the back side of the wedge. So the one thing that we have to make sure we do when we're in the bunker is we have to make sure that we're hitting the back side of the wedge so it skips through the sand. So if you notice my wedge here, Chad, I've got a lot of sand on the front edge of the wedge and that's why my club dug into the sand as opposed to skip through the scan. Very good, very good. So when you're at home, keep in mind how Ben's approaching this. Very open, very playful, very non-judgmental. The last thing we want you to do when you go in there is try to be perfect and think that you, there's a certain type of way. Run the experiments, see what works for you. So keep up your training and we'll look forward to seeing you the next time at the OptiShot Academy.